Greetings, everyone. Greetings. Let me fix that. Okay, fantastic. Greetings, everyone. I'll wait just a couple of seconds for people to come on in the room and join me. This is much later than my usual broadcast time, but when duty calls, duty calls. So come on in. It should be after dinner. You can have a nice cup of tea to help your digestive process. It'll be warm and soothing, and you can just relax for mind set Monday with Dr. Michelle Clay. And when you come on in, make sure that you share with others because sharing is caring. So welcome to the live viewers. Share with your friends and followers. Welcome to my replay viewers. Make sure that you share, share, share with your friends and followers. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome and good evening. I am Dr. Michelle Clay. I am speaker, author, and holistic physician who specializes in the release of stress simply and naturally. Through my coaching programs, I specifically help you who are burnt out in overwhelmed professionals find your happy, healthy, calm place so that you can live a free life on purpose and with passion. To begin your wellness journeys of releasing stress simply and naturally, go to my website, www.freelife7le.com, where you can download your complimentary copy, 10 Minutes to Tranquility. So let's go ahead and get started. Today on Mindset Monday, of course, we always talk about things to help shift your mindset so that you can have wellness success. And this month is Stress Awareness Month. And since I specialize in releasing stress, you know that is right up my alley. So... The reason why I am late today is because this is why it is important for you to find your happy, healthy place and live a free life on purpose. Because when you are clear on what your purpose is, then you can show up fully in the world and express it. Because when you know what your purpose is, then people around you seek your help. Even when you aren't looking for it, it comes to you and you are able to serve. So today, um, some people who are very close to me, who have been together well over 20 some years, told me that they are going their separate ways. So you can't just say, oh, I have to go, I have to live stream. When you are in the middle of serving people with compassion and empathy and divine love. And see, when you are operating in your purpose, then you operate with wisdom. Wisdom comes from experience, things that you have witnessed, things that you have actually lived, as well as what I call divine guidance and direction. So that's what I was doing. And so that led me to thinking in this Stress Awareness Month, what are four things that you can do, that I can do, to relieve stress in your relationship? You see, relationships, whether they're romantic relationships, familial relationships, friendships, Business relationships, work relationships is about social wellness, which is one of the dimensions of wellness that I often speak about. So the first thing into relieving stress in relationships is one, communication. You see, with communication, it's not just what you say and how you say it, though that is important. But communication is a two-way street, okay? So while you're speaking, it's also about listening. 
And see, with listening, it requires that you listen mindfully, active listening. And what that entails is not just a physical process of hearing to make sure that the mechanics of the ear are working, but listening is actually psychological, that you're present in the moment. Mindful listening entails fully listening without judgment, without emotion, so that you can fully comprehend what the person is saying. And guess what else? Listening is not just being quiet and waiting to respond. It's being fully present so that you can fully hear and listen to the, what the person is saying. So, number one, communication. Number two is oftentimes people talk about joy that they want out of relationships. So they are seeking joy from their partner or from their family members, if that's the relationship you're focused on, or joy in your work from your coworkers seeking validation. But I share with you to shift your mindset and think of it not as the joy that you are getting, receiving, or searching for, but to share joy. So that requires that you do some soul searching and find what brings you joy. A couple of things that bring me joy, I will share. Number one is I get joy when I am fully expressing my purpose and I am serving others and I can see the transformation that they are going through. I can see the breakthroughs that they're getting when they say, Ah, oh, mm -hmm. now I understand. Now I get it. That gives me joy. My partner brings me joy. My cat brings me joy. Just being outside on a bright, clear, refreshing day amongst nature and watching butterflies go by, that brings me joy. And so then when those simple things and things I do coming from within, I get great joy when I deep breathe in and out and it brings me a sense of calm, relief and release. That brings me joy. And then I can share that with others in my relationships. So, so share joy instead of looking for situations or relationships to give you joy. Number three is be mindful, sit with yourself and get clear about what your needs are, knowing that your needs will evolve and change. For instance, I am 45 years old. My physical needs are different than the ones I had at 25 years old, okay? So that's all right that we, um, because we're constantly evolving and changing and sometimes we have to revise. So be clear on what your needs are. When you're clear on your needs, that takes some of the stress out of constantly searching, trying this thing, that thing, that person, that situation, that new gadget. And it's like you're testing, okay? When you are clear on what your needs are, then you can throw the arrow and land on the bull's eye for what it is that you need because you are clear. Which brings me to tip number four, which is expectation. When you are clear what your needs are at that particular moment, then you can be clear with articulating what your expectation is, but also be clear on that expectation. If you're expecting someone else to meet all of those needs, or if you put that expectation mm -hmm. on yourself. So for a quick recap, 
Number one, to relieve stress in relationships, communication. Your communication must be clear and not just what you're speaking, but active listening especially. We have one mouth and two ears, so you should listen more than you speak. I know people have heard that phrase before. Number two is as opposed to seeking and searching for joy in others, share joy. So that means that you have to come from your joy within in order to share that. Number three, be clear on what your needs are. And finally, expectation. So today on Mindset Monday, I hope that this has helped someone on how to relieve stress in relationships, which increases your social wellness social relationships relating one to another. And once again, if you if you like Dr. Michelle, that is just way too overwhelming. That's too much. I need to start small with um, bite-sized pieces. Then go to my website, www.freelife, the number seven, le.com, where you can download your, my gift to you, 10 minutes to tranquility and for even more information to be able to check in with me if you want to share privately your breakthroughs your challenges um hashtag wins hashtag questions then go to the private community wellness wow factor wow factor because the wow stands for you are worthy of wellness. You deserve it. You deserve to be well and you deserve to have the things to get you to be your, to your top level of wellness. So go to the private community. Wellness wow factor. So until next time, which will be on Wednesday for Wednesday's Wellness Wisdom Pearl with Dr. Michelle Clay. I am Dr. Michelle Clay, speaker, author, and holistic physician who specializes in the release of stress simply and naturally. Through my coaching programs, I specifically help you who are a burned out, overwhelmed professional who needs to find your happy, healthy, calm place bringing all dimensions of wellness into harmony and balance so that you can live a free life on purpose and with passion. So until next time, have a beautiful evening. Be well, do something well for yourself and start the process tonight. Great communication with active listening. Really sit with yourself and evaluate what brings you joy and how you can bring that to yourself so that you can share with others. Being clear on what your needs are and how they have evolved and changed what you need right now. And be clear and honest about the expectation. Have a beautiful evening. Thank you so much. Good night.